Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Bro. We are predicting the winners of the 2020 Golden Globes. They're happening in just a few days, folks. Start with best drama. Obviously, the clear frontrunner here is The Irishman, seeing that, you know, Parasite and Hollywood are not competing with it. It is Gold Derby's number one. The Golden Globes love Martin Scorsese, so what are we supposed to say? However, looking at last year's Bohemian Upset, we can kind of think, well, could Joker steal this category. I think that Joker love, like with the right pack, can go like really far. So I'm definitely yeah. not gonna underestimate Joker. They'll they'll give it to the Irishman. I mean, I would be shocked. I guess I guess Joker is like the runner up. I mean I I, I don't think Marriage Story would get it. It got the most nominations, but it still missed out on a major one. They snubbed Bomb back for director. Like I would say those are the only possible winners. Some people feel that 1917 is a potential upset. I just don't see that. The Irishman may or may not win Best Picture, but if it doesn't win here, it's like completely weak. Yeah, that's the thing is if it doesn't win, then, then it's like done. Best Comedy Musical. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is an obvious front runner here. You know? I think it's, it's, it's easily winning. Yeah. I think, I feel like they love Tarantino. I think they like Absolutely. that shit. I think Hollywood has emerged as like a potential Best Picture winner. I didn't think I'd be saying that a month ago, but I am saying that. How is Hollywood going to be a potential winner and then lose to Jojo Rabbit? And also, which one is yeah. the director nomination? It doesn't have a screenplay nomination. All it has is it has actor. nominations. That's it. And I feel like if Hollywood were in drama, I'd be like, oh yeah. That would probably win drama. I'm, I'm gonna stick with Hollywood. I'm going with the front runners here. Irishman, Hollywood, the two front runners, Parasites and Foreign Film, what can you do? Director though, you know, Parasite being probably the third front runner to these other two, it would be a nice three-way split where you could get Hollywood, Irishman, and then Parasite wins director. That happened in 2011, Hugo Descendants Artist. This also happened last year, right? Roma won Best Director, and then they gave pictures of different movies. This is a tough one. This is maybe what- The director is really fucking tough because you have three front runners. Three. They're all movies that we could see winning Best Picture at the end of the year. Tarantino and Scorsese are like long time celebrity directors, which the Golden Globes kind of like. And Scorsese's won like three, which maybe they feel like they've given him enough. They don't need to give him any more. Maybe they feel like Tarantino is due for a director win, not just the screenplay win. Yeah, I think because Scorsese's won so often, the last time he won was Hugo. I think they give it to Tarantino over Scorsese because they want a chance to order Tarantino, and that might be like the narrative behind him in the award season. But Parasite and Bong Joon-ho are so freaking strong because it's such a good movie that I th I'm going to say Bong Joon-ho. Again, I'm probably going to go with the front runner here. I think he's the front runner on Gold Derby. I would say Parasite too. Maybe Tarantino would be my second runner up and then Scorsese, but they can just come out loving the Irishman and give a picture director who knows. Yeah. Like my sixth sense is that like Tarantino is going to accept mm. the award. I don't know. That could be, yeah. And then Hollywood could, could win like maybe picture director and screenplay. Oh, oh and okay. actor, obviously. Oh, and supporting actor. Holy shit, Cole. I know. Oh, I know. It has God. a lot of awards. It could win it can five win. awards. I wow. know it could win five awards. Uh, it's probably going to be the biggest. Well, award of the night if as long as it wins yeah like, it's gonna be the biggest award and movie of the night for sure yeah it's winning two actors it's winning comedy musical and all these movies could win screenplay too yeah i think hollywood's gonna go home with director or screenplay and i don't know which i don't know if it's both yeah i'm gonna pick bong joon ho but i'm really watch now and this is gonna be for who tarantino for tarantino right? best actor in a drama i would say this is joaquin phoenix's this body loved Joker by nominating Todd Phillips. You know, Walking Phoenix, I feel like, is on his way to an Oscar. I think that Adam Driver is going to get, like, Critics' Choice. He's the bigger performance. I think it's just going to happen. But Adam Driver is obviously like, the runner-up. I yeah. wouldn't see anybody else winning here. I'd be pretty happy if Adam Driver won. He, he'd have my vote. Actress in a drama. Renee Zellweger. Easy. Easy frontrunner. Done. Uh, goodbye. Could anything weird happen in this category? Is Scarlett Johansson and Charlize mm. Theron are the runners-up, obviously. But Renee's been sweeping. She's been flat it's out done. sweeping. It's done. In supporting actress, I was thinking, oh, everybody's predicting Jennifer Lopez for the Golden Globe, but not the Oscar. Like, I'm just going to predict Laura Dern and get it right, but I don't know. And there's, like, a notion that Laura Dern isn't actually, like, Oscar-worthy. It's oh. a little bit of a career award. Yeah, the thing is, it's like, with those movies where you assume, like, Willem Dafoe's going to win all the awards, but then Sam Rockwell wins, like... Sam Rockwell had a more showy performance than Willem Dafoe. Laura Dern could lose this and then just win the Oscar. It could be like when Jennifer Lawrence won for American Hustle. Right, that was Peter gross. Went for the Oscar. That was freaking gross. I might just actually have to agree with people and say that Jennifer oh, Lopez might be the front runner. Justin, do you mm. disagree with this? You think it's going to mm. be Laura Dern? I don't know how I'm supposed to determine 
this. I mean, I'm still gonna go with Laura Dern just because I feel like it's it's like maybe the one category where I like vote outside the box. I don't know. That's like what I wanted to do, but then I was reading and I was like, yeah, I people really on. like Jennifer Lopez. You know, there are times where the Golden Globes do exactly what you think like the Golden Globes would do, and there are times where they you think they're gonna do a Golden Globe thing and they don't. This is a Golden Globe thing, and I and I, you just said that you don't know whether they're gonna do. I the know Golden I Globe don't thing. know. How am I supposed to so know? So it's like you just kind of like neutralize everything you you just. I know because I'm in the middle. I'm gonna go with Jennifer Lopez. You can pick Laura Dern. Yeah, and let's then, do let's do that, and we'll see who gets 100. percent Supporting actor Brad Pitt. Goodbye. I mean, there's still a case for Joe Pesci. I think, but they would love to award Brad freaking Pitt, Justin. Well, I agree. I think I'm gonna pick Brad Pitt here. Because I see him as being like the strongest. I see him as good winning the Oscar. Because Joe Pesci's thing is like a career thing, and people are just surprised that he's not screaming his head off. I don't exactly get like, oh my god, he's being so good in this movie. You just don't even understand because he's like not doing anything. I don't get that sentiment. Brad Pitt in the ending of the movie, like I don't know how you can't be like, oh my god, he needs to win an Oscar. Yeah. So we're, I'm just gonna say Brad Pitt, but I think Joe Pesci could upset. Al Pacino upset, not impossible, but I'd be like pretty surprised, especially because Joe Pesci's doing well. Comedy musical actor. DiCaprio is winning this on Gold Derby. I think Eddie Murphy's like slightly above DiCaprio right now. I don't know if that's going to change right before the awards, but like, why is Eddie Murphy above DiCaprio? The idea that Eddie Murphy was going to beat DiCaprio made a little sense a while ago when we thought that Eddie Murphy was going to get the SAG. Eddie Murphy is just not sweeping. Leonardo DiCaprio has more nominations, and usually you just want to go for the person who's most likely to win or get nominated for the Oscar. Yeah. And that's Leonardo DiCaprio over Eddie Murphy. Oftentimes you win the Golden Globe for comedy musical and you go on to get an Oscar nomination. And I don't think they give a shit about giving Leonardo DiCaprio like however many awards they've given him in the past. They over award Kate Winslet. They gave her own award for Steve Jobs. Sometimes people go, well, what's more like category appropriate? Like Eddie Murphy's performance is more comedic. You look at when Amy Adams for Big Eyes beat Emily Blunt for Into the Woods, that people thought Emily Blunt would win because that's a musical performance, but Amy Adams was always the one who was more likely to get the nomination for the Oscar. And Emily Blunt was never going to get nominated, and Amy Adams' performance wasn't even comedic, but they'll just give it to you. They gave the Martian comedy over the big short. They don't care if it's category suited. And another performance that's like that is Taron Egerton and Rocket Man, who's singing, which is appropriate for the musical category. If Taron Egerton wins, that means he's really fucking strong. We need to watch yeah. out. And he got a sag, so. But I'm not going to predict him. Yeah, I would say Eddie he's... Murphy and Taron Egerton are like equal upsets in my mind. I think they both have a shot at doing it, but Leonardo DiCaprio is like the third biggest He's gotten biggest everything. Exactly. He is not missing. And comedy musical actress, Aquafina is like obviously, you know, this this logic that we're going for, the most likely to get the Oscar nomination. It's like the most obvious lead performance in a film. Whereas like the rest of the people in this category, they're like part of an ensemble or there's like a co-lead. So Except for Kate Blanchett. Oh yeah, but that's a, that's a joke. This is just the most obvious to win the award. Like Ana de Armas is not even getting lead nominations anywhere else. If you think about it as like an award for a lead actress, it's Aquafina. Yeah, it's so very clear. Screenplay, also a category that's really up in the air. People think that Noah Baumbach could be the front runner for Marriage Story here, but as someone who loves the movie and personally thinks it should be winning here, I am not confident that. Marriage Story is going to prevail over Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or even Parasite. Now, I will say that the Golden Globes screenplay category, whatever wins here, has a pretty good chance of winning the Oscar. Last year, Green Book won, and we still thought the favorite was going to win, but no, that actually did mean that. La La Land won, and then Manchester for the Best yeah, went on to beat not it. every year. But it did happen one year that her won, and that went on to win screenplay at the Academy Awards. That was, a, that was an important thing. People didn't think that Django Unchained was going to win screenplay in 2012. And it did, and then it won the Oscar. Wait. Could that happen here? Absolutely, with Hollywood. I wouldn't be surprised. Tarantino, they might give him awards. They're going to give him a lot of awards and love tonight. I still think Marriage Story has a very good argument here. I know it's like an opinion thing to say, but it's also like kind of obvious that like the screenplay is masterful in Marriage Story. I still might predict Marriage Story because that's like the screenplay movie. If Parasite wins foreign director and screenplay, I'm gonna like jizz. Oh, Steve Jobs won screenplay and that wasn't even nominated. So that was a weird thing. Oh, there thing. you go. Maybe Hollywood wins, I don't know. You know, it disturbs me because I want Marriage Story really bad. It is tough. I would rather have Parasite win than Hollywood too. Like I'm sensing that Tarantino's gonna be up there for either picture or director. That, that's what I, what's my Yeah, sense. that's the thing. I'm gonna predict Tarantino and I am not sure about it. 
Marriage Story and Parasite are big contenders right behind it. I just thought Marriage Story was like that contender that just wins all the screenplay awards and it kind of has been. I'm gonna try to outside shot it with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but this is not an easy category, folks. I might change my mind like right before, I don't know. Yeah. Best score. The Golden Globes can get a little funky hoo-ha in best score. A lot of times they will go with the Oscar winner and that is going to be 1917. At the Oscars, Thomas Newman is highly overdue. He has 14 nominations and no wins. But at the Golden Globes, he only has four nominations. Joker, I think, has a shot at winning. Yes. Joker has a shot at upsetting yep. here. Keep going. Motherless Brooklyn, just because it got nominated, it has a shot at winning. That's true. Remember All is Lost? And then remember Aaron Taylor Johnson getting nominated was totally random, and yet he wins? I think 1917 is like really safe, though. I time. might lean towards Joker. Really? It has a really good score. It's very memorable. They like to award interesting scores. And let's remember Steve Jobs. One score. Didn't get nominated yeah, for the Yeah, a Oscars. very interesting score. They have good taste. Yeah, I think Joker's the, the, the runner-up. I'm gonna just say Joker. Really? Fuck you, yeah. You're gonna say Joker as fuck a fuck you, you yeah. pick? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm gonna say 1917, so fuck There we you. go. And finally, original song. It could be the Rocket Man song or the Frozen song. Those are like... What about the, the Lion King song? Maybe, but like, does anyone give a shit? Not really. The Rocket Man song, they get to give an award to Elton John. And the Frozen song is just a Frozen song. Rocket Man. I would say Rocket Man too. I'm gonna go with that. I feel I feel like they want to get like Elton John on stage. Are you kidding me? Animated feature is a no-brainer. It's Toy Story 4. I could weirdly see The Lion King upsetting though. That'd be pretty disgusting. That'd be like a disgusting thing. But like, could they be disgusting? Maybe they could be. No, they wouldn't be that disgusting. No. Toy, Toy, Story, Toy Story 4. Story 4. Toy Story 4 easy. And then foreign films also like super easy. Like this is just a parasite all the way. No way anything else wins. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. What would you do to win a Golden Globe?